What up guys, welcome to another video. Today's quick, easy. I wanna talk about the sub in the title, but also a little mini truck update. Nothing's really changed. I still need to cut the frame in the back so it rides a little smoother. Um, the tint, I'm really enjoying it. It's way cooler in here. Um, I replaced all the AC components as well. The only thing I need to do next is the evaporator, which I'm gonna order that while I'm gone in Colorado, leaving tonight. Um, I'll probably have left last night by the time you see this video. But anyways, I'm there for a week, um, filming for some other stuff from another channel. And then, um, but yeah, the steering wheel NRG setup sucks because this was made for an RX-7 hub, but it fits this Mazda. Obviously, all the Mazda ones of these years were the same, but the button that goes in here to press the horn is pretty thick, like this thick, and there's really not much room in there to work with, even after I cut the bolt. So that's not going to work. I'm going to have to rewire the horn, like, with a button right here, and then I'm going to have some, like, aluminum, like, cutout right here, and then put a cool sticker with my CA logo, I'm thinking, right there. If you have any other any other ideas for that let me know but the subwoofer well quick dual door speaker dual deck cheapest walmart setup you can get i'm gonna get a sticker like eric thought of premium walmart sound i'm gonna throw it on the back it'll be sweet but this subwoofer right here is actually not bad for 80 bucks i'm surprised um i disconnected it for while i'm gone so it doesn't run the battery dead or something weird uh but yeah it's really shallow so it fits anywhere which is awesome but the downfall of that is when it thumps it doesn't hit super super deep when it tries to it just kind of sounds like Bleh. you know i'm not even gonna play it through here because it doesn't do justice but it went from like kind of almost almost loud enough in here when i'm on the freeway going 80 miles an hour to like now with the sub it's like I can really like turn the bass down on the door speakers, crank them all the way up, and it doesn't distort or anything. So it sounds a lot cleaner overall. The door speakers don't have to work as hard. So I'm really happy with $80 I have to spend on that. If I would have done it differently, I would have done a shallow 10, like a JL with a box and an amp, and it would have been like three, 400 bucks minimum. So for 80 bucks, I'll take it. And you know, maybe down the road, I'll put something really nice in here if I'm driving it that much more, but I gotta get the AC dialed so it's 60 degrees. It's actually like over 100 right now in Arizona. I'm sweating my balls off. Um, but yeah, quick little mini truck update. Gonna get the steering wheel, rewire the horn, get the evaporator going, and then I need to wrap it, do a little body work, or paint it, I'm not sure. Color suggestions, wheel combinations with paint. Comment down below what you guys think. I'll give you a little overview. It's kind of on the hill, real weird. What color should I wrap it? What color should I do the wheels? What kind of wheels? It's a really ugly truck, so it needs help. Maybe do a little tailgate spoiler? I don't know. I'm going to do a roof rack for sure. So that'll make it look a little sportier. And I'm going to do some eyelids on the headlights and then do some LEDs, no doubt. So the eyelids will kind of go down like this and it'll look aggressive, but... Uh, yeah, it's just a... Just a ugly truck, but I love it. I'm dailying that to work, so I drive it pretty often. I'm leaving the Subaru in the garage for now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, and I'm off to Colorado. Peace.